big news this week, Hyundai has revealed the name for its all-new subcompact SUV. Codenamed the QXI, it will officially be called the Venue and will rival the likes of Maruti Suzuki Vitara Brezza, the recently launched Mahindra XUV 300 and Ford EcoSport. The Venue is pretty much a scaled-down version of the Creta with a similar design language. It will be unveiled at the New York Motor Show on 17th of April. French car manufacturer Citroen is all set to launch in India on 3rd of April. And the word is that its very first car will be the C5 Aircross SUV, which it might reveal at the press conference. The Aircross has been spotted testing in India multiple times already, and if launched, it will rival the likes of MG Hector and Jeep Compass. Citroen will launch its first car in India by the end of 2021. If you've been planning to buy a Renault Quid, now may be the best time to do it. The manufacturer has announced that its prices will increase by 3% starting 1st of April. While the base variant currently retails at 2.67 lakh ex showroom, it will increase to 2.75 lakh. Now, we've got good news for women drivers. JK Tyre and Western India Automobile Association are back with the all-women car rally, Rally to the Valley, for its sixth edition this year. The Rally to the Valley will run from Mumbai to Ambi Valley, spreading the message for equality for women in the society and, of course, road safety. Registrations are still open. Moving over to motorcycles, and there's great news. Royal Enfield Trials 350 and Trials 500 have been launched at Rs 1.62 lakh and 2.07 lakh ex showroom. The Trial series is essentially a scrambler based on the renowned Bullet series. It gets knobby tyres, slightly upright handlebar, and upswept exhaust to be able to take on off road. Engine options remain the same, bookings are open. While we were very pleased by the price tags on recent Kawasaki motorcycles launched in India, the manufacturer has now announced that the prices will increase by 7% starting 1st of April. Kavi have not mentioned which models will be affected, but the ZX6R and the Sayers 1000, which were launched recently at very competitive prices, might see a price hike. And now to conclude, some news from the world of electric mobility. The Ministry of Power and Delhi government have approved the plan to set up 131 electric vehicle charging stations across Delhi. The plan includes setting up some of these stations at such locations so that electric vehicles coming from Noida, Gurugram and Ghaziabad can use them as well. The government plan says that these will be operational within the next three months.